Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, and watching. I do appreciate it. hope your day is going super well. I'm having fun today, and I'm not talking about Illuminar specifically, but let me tell you, Illuminar 4 has been fun. Hope you're having a good time with it. If you haven't checked out my playlist, please check it out there. I've got like 35 videos in it already, covering a lot of things. But I'm going to talk about sky replacement today, and you know, with Luminar 4, everybody's been excited about Luminar 4. Everybody's been talking about the sky replacement um, feature. And it seems a little bit like everybody's been asking me, you know, hey, Jim, are you going to re re release a sky replacement pack? You know, like a pack of skies that we can buy that we can use on our own images because Luminar 4 comes with some great looking skies, but it's only like 20 or 25. I, don't, I haven't counted them, but, and you know, it's a decent variety. But the truth is, if everybody uses those skies that are built in, very quickly, you're going to get kind of tired of seeing the same sky. And, um, you know, personally, you're probably going to also want to just explore different ideas. And so I did think about doing a sky pack, but I ultimately decided against doing it. And instead, I'm, I'm working with my friend Matt Seuss. Matt recently released a sky pack. I'll put a link down below. And this is one of the reasons I didn't release mine is because his sky pack has 400 skies in it. I, I'm laughing when I say it because it's ridiculous. It's so many skies, 400. That, that like that's a lot. I had like 25, and I was like, oh, it's a pretty good pack. Um, and, and you know, I, personally, I'm a little biased. I like the skies that I have, and I'll keep using them. But I went out and I bought Matt's sky pack, and I bought it for the same price he's selling it uh, to you for. So um, that's how much I believe in it. It's it's really fabulous. So let me just show it to you. Um, it comes as a two different zip files, two folders, each of 200 images. And what I did is I went in and made four different folders just to help me organize it because if I have two folders with 200 images in it, it's too much for me to keep track of. I'll never be able to do anything with it. So I'll just kind of click through some of these and you can see I organized it by type. So I did cloudy skies and then night skies and then stormy skies and then sunset skies. So this is the cloudy sky folder. There's a lot, there's some really good stuff. And you know, you may not get excited about cloudy skies and there are a bunch of them, but they're really good. And the truth is you take a lot of photos in the daytime and it's gonna be hard to convince everyone, if you will, that that was really a sunset. So I put in a sunset uh, sky because the shadows are different, the light direction, things like that. So cloudy skies come in really handy and, and these are wonderful, I like them a lot. But I will say the reason I bought the pack uh, are night skies. There's about eight of those in here, and these are beautiful. I mean, look at this stuff. And you can see it's 7,000 pixels across. So this is a good size file. I like all of these. This one is beautiful. I love that. It's got clouds and skies, like a long exposure. Just gorgeous. Milky Way looking awesome. Milky Way looking awesome. Milky Way, Milky Way, Milky Way in a vertical. Uh, again, 7,000 pixels across. These are beautiful, and that's one of the reasons I bought the pack is because I, I've got one night sky that I've taken that, that I like. Um, I've taken a few over the years, but I've just never really um, had a lot of opportunity to do it, honestly, because I'm usually in cities, and it's hard to get it from there. Um, the other reason I bought the pack is this uh, folder I made, Stormy Skies. These are some gorgeous, uh, gorgeous storm images. Just look at that. I'm going to full screen that, dude. Check this photo out. That is wicked cool. Like the heavens are exploding. I mean, I'm just, I'm about to quit making this video and just go edit photos because I'm so fired up. These are beautiful. There's some cloudy, stormy stuff. And again, this is Jim's categorization. You might call it something different. Look at this photo. I absolutely adore that photo. I've been playing with that, but you get these awesome skies, blue and kind of purple, and then you get the lightning streaking across. Honestly, I just, I don't have photos like that. I have not taken those. I haven't been in places to take those. Uh, and then the sunset skies, look at all these sunset skies. So if you thought there were a lot of cloudy skies at first, you might've been like, oh, that's a lot of clouds. Yeah, but look at all these sunsets. I mean, these are massively beautiful too. I'll just scroll through some of these. Um, and again, this pack is uh, $45. Here's the thing, I wanna be clear. The link down below, you can purchase on that. It's $45 right now. The normal price is gonna be 90 or $95, I believe. Uh, but right now it's on for 45. Same price I paid, I paid that price. Uh, I do wanna point out that link is an affiliate link. I started talking to Matt, him and I are old friends, and he asked me if I'd be a, an affiliate for him, which means if you click that link and buy, he gives me a small commission, kinda of like a finder's fee for sending you his way. So you're basically supporting me a little bit and supporting Matt as well in uh, in purchasing this Skypack. 
and I appreciate that, and I know Matt does, but look at these skies. I mean, these are just gorgeous, gorgeous sunsets. Let me find some of these other ones that I love in here. I mean, I was, I've was, i been playing with a lot of them because they're just gorgeous, and you can see why I had to make folders. In fact, I really need to further classify. Like, I could call this golden hour, even though it's sunset, but I need to probably further classify to help me find the ones I want, but look at that. Oh my God, look at that sky, my friends. That's the reason right there to buy this pack. There's a bunch like that. I'll just kind of scroll through. Look at these. I mean, that is just off the charts, super cool. I mean, God, look at that. I got to full screen it. I'm fired up and I didn't even take these. I just can't wait to use them. So there you go. I mean, this that's beautiful. It's, it's, uh, I'm out of words. I'm running out of superlatives. But um, beautiful is definitely in the right category. Um, so there's all kinds of things. There's lots of more gorgeous ones. Some of these are just off the hook. That's gorgeous. I love that. And that little strip of blue at the bottom would fit perfectly because like in Luminar 4 at the Horizon blend, you can drop that down a little bit and have a little bit of that blue showing like over the edge of a mountain. And then let me go back. It'll look like those clouds are blowing over the mountain or over the city or whatever it is. It's cool stuff, my friends. Really cool. Some gorgeous color, some gorgeous skies and sunsets. There's a couple more in here that I really like. I like that one. It's very simple, just a pastel. But that's a great way to just change the tones in an image. And instead of saying, oh, look at this, you know, uh, let me go back up here. Look at this. Uh, let me find one of these other ones that's more dramatic. Look at this dramatic sunset. You can't overdo the drama on every image, but something like that, just beautiful, subtle color, a nice way to change the tones. I love it. So, uh, oh, and that one's cool. Look at that. It's got a little moon in it, or a little crescent moon. Anyway, that is Matt Seuss's Sky Pack. The link down below, which is an affiliate link, will take you there. You can buy it for $45. 400 skies, my friends, and they're beautiful. You've seen only a snippet of it. Let me show you one photo I did using one of these night skies. Okay, here it is. It's just a photo from Prague. I was out one morning on the Charles Bridge. Stunning scene, but I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool if I put a night sky on that. So I did, and I mean, I know I'm biased because I made the photo and I put it in Matt's sky, but like that's freaking gorgeous, people. I mean, I'm sorry. That's awesome. Um, I did some other filter work here. You can see on Essentials, I did Light, AI Structure, and Landscape Enhancer. On Pro, I did Adjustable Gradient. But the big move here was AI Sky Replacement. And, you know, you can use your own skies, obviously. Um, I'm going to click Load a Sky Image. And I'm going to pick like a Milky Way. Let me just drop that in there so you can see how these will look. And again, this is just the night sky. But look at that, like a little bit of a Milky Way. You've even got some shooting stars over here in this thing. It's just cool, my friends. It's super cool. It's super fun. It's a great sky pack. Check it out if you'd like to. And um, I appreciate the support. I know Matt does. And I hope more than anything that you have a lot of fun. You do some creative things with uh, these sky uh, replacements. And by the way, I use it in Luminar 4, but you can also use it in On One. You can use it in Topaz. You can use it in Photoshop. You can use these skies in any product that has layers that allows you to add a new image layer. So all those products do, and probably quite a few others as well. And that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. I just thought it was really cool, and I'm excited about it. So I'm going to go do some more editing. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Take care, and adios.